Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to Kite the Rush channel. And today we have a basically the first totally raw feeding session for Birdie. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I feed uh, my puppies raw and I'm going to be feeding Kite a different a little bit of different meal today because he's on a schedule. So let's get right down to it. Alright, so what I'm gonna be doing for Birdie guys is basically I'm gonna take um, a leg quarter. This is her first day actually on a chicken leg quarter here. And I'm gonna be chopping this up and basically making it like close to a ground. That way she gets those bones in there and the calcium that she needs. Also, we're gonna be taking some uh, chicken uh, gizzards here. I'm gonna give her like one of these, I guess. And then we're gonna have some livers. I have some just some little bit left, some chicken livers here. I'm going to be giving her those, and then we're going to be giving cots some beef livers today. And um, because I'm, I ran out of chicken livers. So, um, cot will also be getting a whole fish um, with egg and what is this? Gizzards. All right, and also what I'll be doing is giving Birdie like a, some eggshell and we're gonna use this like little mortar thing and ground it up real fine and sprinkle it like eggshell dust. That way she gets more calcium in her diet as well. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is blend this chicken leg quarter up. All right, just on the side note, guys, before and after you did with this meat and that food, or if you're using any countertops, go ahead and spray it down with some, any type of kitchen cleaner, bathroom cleaner, anything that's just like an antibacterial or a disinfectant or something like that. Just spray the counter down. That way you're not, you know, contracting anything with your food and parasites and everything in their food and bacteria. So, just a side note. So, I use a Ninja Blender. That's what my choice of blender is. I use the basically all in one big heavy duty ninja. You don't need a heavy duty ninja. You just need something with blades that can chop up chicken, I guess. So, all right. So I'm gonna put this on a um, pulse. And I'm not gonna make it super ground. I want her to get used to eating that bone. I think that looks good. That looks good. Alright. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to make this super duper fine. Because I want to get her used to eating chunks of bone as well. Um, Cot was pretty much trying to eat through chicken at eight weeks. But she is very small. Um, so we have to take that into account. Okay? So... Take her bowl. We're not going to use all of this. I already have some egg in here. Uh, we're going to take her bowl. Let's take some of this chicken. I'm going to put it in her bowl. And put it in there. And be mindful, gizzards are very tough. So if you have a puppy, you just want to have small pieces because it's tough. All right. Put it out of the way. Okay. So I got that, and then we're just going to take little pieces of gizzards and drop them in there. I mean, livers, I'm sorry. Just little fine pieces of livers. We drop them in there. You don't need much liver. You need like 5% of what they eat. So that's very, very small. So if you're only feeding them a pound of food a day, you're going to need 5% of a pound, whatever that is. Do the math. And be careful with liver with rot rollers. It's a lot of iron in liver. Some rot rollers don't have a very good um, reaction to a lot of iron. And then we're just going to chop up chop up some of these eggshells, all right, take that, then you just take your little mortar and then you just turn it into dust, now it is possible to do this with your hand, 
Because I can do it with my hand, but I'm just going to walk you guys through the process of doing it. Of how fine you kind of want it, especially little baby so small as herself. And this is way, this is small enough. So, boom. You have some grounds here. All right. And what I do is I just sprinkle it on there. Now, as you can see. Can you see that? Is it in focus? Okay. You just sprinkle it on there like dust. So, as you can see, it's like dust. All right. And this is healthy for them. It's very healthy for them to have eggshell consumption. So, this is, if I had some berries, I don't have any right now, I would, I would drop a berry, maybe like a quarter of a berry in there, blueberry. Um, but I don't have any right now. I have to go to the store and get some. Um, but this is good. This is a meal. Um, I have everything she needs in there. You have your organ meat. You have your muscle meat. You have your bone. You have your egg in there. Um, and then she will have eventually have a fish day. She's not there yet. Today is a fish day for Pat, so I'll be dropping that in there. So let you guys see the reaction to her eating, and we'll be right back in a sec. Alrighty, so look guys, um, I have the raw food here. I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Um, I've already kind of taught, kind of taught her how to wait before she eats until I tell her to eat. So. Let me see if we can actually put that in the footage as well. Uh, all right, let's get to it. Bird. Bird. Come here. You ready? All right. Sit. 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 Good girl, bird. Good girl. Go eat. Eat. So it looks like she got a hard piece of bone. Let's see if she comes back to it or if she decides to try to chew through it. I'm curious to see what she does. She might have to come back to some of these things. Okay, it seems like she's breaking through it pretty fine. That, look, that one looks pretty hard. So let's see if she'll eat it. Big piece of skin, not really chopped up as good, that, that's okay. Let's see it chew through it. All this is doing is building her bite up, um, making her actually work for her food. So it keeps the boredom down as well, because she got to chew so much. I'm just curious to see if she's going to eat the very sharp pieces of bone. They won't hurt the dog either way. Uncooked bones don't splinter, guys. Cooked bones are the, the culprit. A lot of people think cooking the bones and giving them the dog cooked food is good. The bones splinter when they're cooked, and they end up having a whole bunch of intestinal problems by, by chance. So raw food, guys. Read a book. There's several books out from actual doctors and veterinarians. 
So you guys might want to pick a book up on a raw diet. I can drop one in the, the comment section below. In the description. Okay, so. So for the most part, the bowl is empty. She did go through this raw food. Um, they got a few pieces of hard bone. I'm curious to see if she eat those. Cot used to leave them, and now he doesn't leave any any bone at all. So it probably just works up to her having a stronger bite or not before she can feel like she can eat through the whole bone. All right, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. That was the first raw feeding uh, that I actually did. My full, complete meal with no dog food in it. Um, as you can see, the dog enjoyed it, obviously. And my expectations were about the same for this. Um, so I, I just assumed that she would be a natural at eating it. And of course, it worked out fine. Okay, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give, give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section below hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for more videos posted like this this is more informational video but we will be having you know fun videos coming in the near future i just want to kind of get you guys to know who we're dealing with with birdie and cot until then we'll see you next time